Well, good morning, YouTube. It's Rusty Glove Box. What we're going to do now is we're going to cut out our kydex uh, in the proper shape to make a sheath for our uh, knife. Well, something to be aware of if, if you're not already, kydex has kind of a textured side, sort of like uh, rough leather or something like that, and then it has a little more of a smoother side that would be toward your knife or gun. And uh, so you're going to lay out on the smooth side, or that's what makes sense to me, because uh, you're going to be folding it over. So if you want a right or left-handed sheath or gun holster, you're going to need to keep that in mind, and that way you don't uh, fold over the wrong side or anything like that. Well, I'm getting ready to mark this out, and uh, you don't have to have one of these grid pads, but uh, a lot of people that work with this Kydex have it. Uh, fix it with Biscuit. He was one of the first guys that I was kind of learning from him how he did it, and he had one of these pads, and it made a lot of sense because with these one-inch grids on here, it helps you keep your material straight. So if you start straight, you're probably going to end up straight. This material is very tough. Um, but if you score it, you can almost just snap it. What I had to do was uh, go over the score line pretty good and uh, then you just kind of bend it back and forth and it'll start cracking. You'll bend it over and you'll get the line started. You bend it back this way. If you've gone deep enough it'll go ahead and snap. Well I think you might can see the uh, faint image of how I trace the knife on there. That'll help me after I heat it and uh, I get ready to put it in the press. I'll, I'll be able to kind of see where it should be and uh, That'll be helpful. I think this is better right here. Uh, they said right when the edges start to curl up. That's what this is doing right now. Well, we're going to take it out of press and see what we've got. I may need to uh, reheat it. Let's just see. Well, that turned out all right. Well, here we are. I got it out of the press, and you can kind of see how it's formed everything to the knife. It did a real good job here on the back side. And uh, you want it to catch a little bit of the handle, but uh, not a whole lot, especially the way this handle is made. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it a little, and I'm going to kind of bend this out. Nice snug little fit, but not too tight.
After just a little bit of heating and I put it in the press for a little while, I uh, wrapped it around this block while it was in the press. I would kind of cut a little bit of a contour on it. I don't know if you can see that. But this material, it retained its shape. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bend a little clip inward. That way when it slides over your belt, uh, it's not going to pop off. All right, well, you can see that. I made that so that would fit as large as a two inch belt. And uh, as you can see, it kind of wraps past the blade. So it shouldn't just hop off your belt without really having to work with it. What we're gonna do right now is I'm going to uh, just drill like three holes and I'm going to see how that works. Well, here it is after I've just pushed the rivets in by hand. I, now I'm going to take it over to the drill press and brad them over. Well, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to use my drill press as a uh, rivet press. Uh, these are the special little dies used to curl these rivets. I had this heavy piece of stainless. Uh, I haven't used it, and I thought, well, that'd, that'd be perfect for this. I drilled a hole to receive that die. Uh, this is made to receive the large end of the rivet like that. Uh, I'm trying this just because I've never done this before and so I wanted to make sure that uh, everything went as planned. So you start off with your rivet in there die and press down and it makes a nice, neat little rolled edge. Got three rivets on it with a built-in belt clip. Uh, I took the tape off the knife. Well, here at this shot, I'm showing all the tools that I needed. Uh, which is not too many. I'm going to say the biggest part of them you probably already have. Uh, but anyway, I, I was real happy how this come out. Uh, I'm going to get started on the other two. Fits in there real nice and snug, not going to fall out. So uh, I'm going to get started on those other two pretty quick. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, the making of that Kydax sheath. Uh, it's really pretty simple. Uh, I think after you do one or two of them, it's really uh, very easy. This is Rusty Glovebox. Thanks for watching, and I'm out of here.